My name's David Margulies. I'm uh, one of the engineers here at Franz. The topic for today is IDE changes and features in Allegro CL 8.2. We're going to talk briefly about the changes in the look and feel. We're going to point out that it works on the Mac, talk about the new split bar widget, and even though these are not things that are actually new in 8.2, the chart widget was in 8.1 and the plot widget was added as a uh, patch in 8.1. These are features that you may not know about and which are reasonably complicated, so we thought we'd talk about them and give some demos of them. So the new look and feel, there aren't huge changes. The basic uh, arrangement is much the same. But uh, there are new icons, and the widget icons that allow you to build dialogues have been moved off the toolbar onto a palette. Now, let's just go look at Allegro CL itself. And so here are the toolbar is now this collection of icons, and it is, yes, you see a little tooltip that appears. Every one of these icons actually associated with a menu item, and the menu item is shown in the tooltip that appears when the cursor is over the icon. So this one is open a new document in the editor, open an existing document, save. This one is get a file name and uh, compile and load it. and now the rest of them have to do with various programming options or editing options, search and find, for example. Uh, here is incremental compilation and incremental evaluation. There are no widgets appearing on the uh, toolbar. That is one of the changes. To see the widget palette, you can either look at the form menu and the first item is show widget palette. What also works is just clicking in the background of a form. This is a dialog form, which I'm using as an example. We'll see it later. But if you just click in the background, the widget palette uh, pops up automatically. And again, there's a little tooltip that tells you that's a button, that's a picture button. This is a multi-line text, or multi-line list text, multi-line editable text, etc. Also, the image of Franz Liszt, which is the symbol of the company, as now more decorative. That is also what appears in the icon tray. It used to be sort of bluish, but now it's this uh, more naturalistic color. So I just uh, have a picture here showing the show widget palette uh, menu item and the widget palette itself. The IDE now works on the Mac, so it's supported on Windows, Linux, and the Mac. And broadly speaking, programs developed on any platform will work on the other platforms with minor tweaks. And the minor tweaks have to do with the differences between GTK, which is the uh, windowing system used on the Mac and Linux, and uh, Windows itself. And there are some Windows-only features that has to do with software out of our control. The documentation will tell you when there is a GTK issue with a particular feature.